Former Atlanta, yes, Atlanta fire chief, has suggested that slavery was a part of God's plan for America. This speech took place at a Georgia Department of Labor event. Yep, Kelvin Cochran, who caused controversy for his perceived homophobia, was invited to speak at a Black History Month celebration hosted by the Georgia Department of Labor. This dumbass took the opportunity to explain how America was a part of God's divine plan. Listen to this. Always has a reason for the things that he allows. Yeah. Listen to this. Brace yourselves, my black brothers and sisters. Slavery in America did not catch God by surprise. In his sovereignty, God, listen, allowed Africans to be brought to America as slaves. Africa was on the eve of social spiritual and economic catastrophe and famine. Still going on today. So he brought six million Africans to America through the Middle Passage as slaves. Just as it was God's divine plan to enslave the nation of Israel, it was his sovereignty that allowed Africans to be brought to America in bondage. Can I You know, I might have to call it this segment. This motherfucker. Um, Cochran was fired as fire chief in 2015 after concerns were raised over the book, Who Told You That You Were Naked? He gave to his subordinates. He later won a $1.2 million wrongful termination settlement against the city and former mayor, Kasim Reed. Um, I'm a Congo. I don't know what the hell that fool talking about. <laughs> this is the stuff that people should be outraged about, talking about all of the stuff relating to comedians. Th th that this man would, man, that this man would get up there and, and, and preach this ignorance and this nonsense and people in the crowd reacting to it. This is the stuff that's dangerous, Roland, because we have people like this every day in all walks of life, in our schools, in our churches, in our communities, spouting this ignorance and just factually wrong on everything. Everything from Africa the, as a continent was uh, was uh, dealing with major instability at that time to the, up to the idea about that, that God allowed it. And we're talking about everything going on in Ron DeSantis and, and banned books and so on and so forth. And here you come with this man basically giving credence to everything that these white folks who are out there trying to destroy our history and remove our culture, he's justifying it by basically saying we were savages before we got here, and thank God that they got us out of that dark continent. And this type of conscientious stupidity is rampant, and we and I'm glad you showed this because it should remind folks that it's not just the DeSantis's of the world who are trying to actively disrespect and disregard our history. And for what, Roland? People in the audience should have shut that down, but I'm glad we're here to do it now. Yeah, I would have cussed his ass out right there. I'm just letting everybody Definitely. know. All right, folks, back to our Roland Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. We talk about blackness and what happens in black culture. We're about covering these things that matter to us, uh, speaking to our issues and concerns. This is a genuine people-powered movement. There's a lot of stuff that we're not getting. You get it. And you spread the word. We wish to plead our own cause too long have others spoken for us. We cannot tell our own story if we can't pay for it. This is about uh, covering us. Invest in Black-owned media. Your dollars matter. We don't have to keep asking them to cover our stuff. So please support us in what we do, folks. We want to hit 2,000 people, $50 this month, raise $100,000. We're behind 100000 so we want to hit that. Y'all money makes this possible. Checks and money orders go to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037 dash. 0196. The cash app is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zelle is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. 